welcome to another Brit Chat. I am so excited to be here with Wesley Hamilton, but he is a motivational speaker, a blogger. You've just gone vegan, like this dude is everything. Where did your journey begin? January 14, 2012 was the day my life changed for the better. Mm -hmm. um, I was shot multiple times um, and I was diagnosed with a spinal cord injury. At that time, I was 230 pounds, and I didn't know which direction I wanted. I was going to go in. Um, three months before my accident, I had just got full custody of my daughter. So, trying to be a father, trying to adapt to this new way of life, there was no way I knew how to do it. Went through about three years of depression. Um, being overweight really took a toll on me, caused a lot of health issues and I just had to make a change for myself. You said you spent two, three years, you were completely bedridden. Yeah. And a single dad. Talk a little bit to me about that moment when you were like, okay, I'm done. Like, I cannot do this anymore. Cause I feel like we all have moments in our life where we're just like, this isn't working. I need to do something else. Like, what was that moment for you? It was a time when I was in the hospital and I was going through a surgery and my body would not heal. And I asked the doctor, what can I do to make my body heal faster? And the doctor told me protein. I had no idea what protein was. I thought Big Macs and stuff, yeah, I mean, yeah. protein. Like, but I just, at that point, I was like, man, this is something I gotta look into to make a change in my life. And I have to make that change for my daughter. It was just that I was fed up. Mm -hmm. I had lost family, I had lost friends, not because they didn't want to be around me, but because I, I had negative energy. Mm -hmm. Now you are big into health and fitness. Yeah. Um, let's chat a little bit about that. After I got out of the hospital, after I was healed up, I was 100 pounds lighter, felt great, started doing wheelchair bodybuilding, adaptive CrossFit, um, started competing. My first competition started last year, 2016, all the way up to now. That is amazing. So your mental state went from, I'm just going to lay here and do whatever, to I can do everything. Do you think your your what you're putting in your body played a role in your mind because I feel like health and fitness and what we put in really connects with our mental state as well. Well, the fact of being heavy set my whole life mm -hmm. and then losing a hundred pounds in a wheelchair, paralyzed, yeah, it did yeah. something <laughs> because I felt good and I never knew how good I could feel when I got rid of all those toxins out of my body mm -hmm. and that empowered me. I want to change the perspective of what people see when they see someone that's disabled. Mm -hmm. It's disabled, but not real, you know? I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. I need a, I need a shirt. I got disabled, you. Disabled, but not really. And I think that can be carried into so many places. Like there's so many areas in our life I feel like where we tell ourselves we can't do this, or we feel like our circumstances are like, I can't do this. And it's like, it's it's mindset. It's like, yes. ah, every time I'm around this dude, I just feel like I'm ready to go take the world off. We were hanging out a couple weeks ago. You mentioned that you've always loved writing but you felt like as a black man and just kind of what you know that persona is usually supposed to be, you didn't feel like you had the freedom to pursue writing. Yeah, my whole life I, I wanted to fit in. I wanted to fit in with the community that I was around and being around a particular community which everyone says is the hood, mm -hmm. I would have been teased because I, I wanted to write, I wanted to read. So I avoided those things and made bad choices and mistakes because of that. Well, once I realized that I had to make a change and do things that I wanted to do, I know who I am now. Mm -hmm. And me being me makes me make my own decisions. I love myself and I love what I do. So I went back to wanting to do what I love and that was right. And now I'm just taking off and I write all the time. I feel like that's huge. You love yourself and you love what you want to do. Like our culture is constantly, especially the black community, I feel like. And I felt like this growing up too because I love classical music. Right. And I remember people, you know, always called me a nerd because I love to play <laughs> piano, I play flute. And I'm like, why do we sit in these stereotypes and tell ourselves what we can and can't do instead of pursuing our passions? So I love that so much. How do you get inspiration for what you write? How do you? Um, just because of what I've been through in life. So I always have something to talk about, you know, and every day. I realized that you know you go through so many things and it's, and it's always a story to tell. It's amazing mm -hmm. to see what I was able to create once I got rid of the stereotypes mm -hmm. and just believed in myself. I'm over here ready to cry right now. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about you're a single dad, you have a beautiful daughter, yes, and I just want some tips. <laughs> 
do you do it? How do you how do you run your business and and parent too? I feel like it's so hard. It is hard, but I'm great with time management and you know from the time I drop my daughter off at school is when work starts. Mm -hmm. And I make sure that I have everything done by the time she's out of school so that I could be a parent. I always let my daughter know the history of her father. I, you know, I, I drive her through the neighborhoods that I was in and I let her see the things that she can get if she starts to push herself and let her know that it was hard work to get me here and not just something that was handed to me. And so by me empowering her and showing her she understands too that you know dad's out there grinding he's grinding <laughs> and so every day she's mm -hmm. you know have a great day i hope you have a good meeting i hope you do good at work and it's the same conversation to her have a great day at school i didn't imagine i would be this man mm -hmm. but now i am who i am yeah <laughs> and now she knows what kind of man that she exactly. needs in her life <laughs> oh, i yeah. love that <laughs> she's like Ain't nobody got nothing on my dad. Nah, nobody got nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the channel. The is gonna be on again because this. I mean, I just I have so much more, and I feel like I'm gonna collab with you. There's so many things I'm always like messaging him, like, what are you doing? Blah, blah, this and that. So anyway, thank you so much for coming on. Guys, please check out Wes's Instagram, his blog. I'm going to leave all that below. <laughs> but thank you so much for taking time to be on the channel. Well, thank and you for having me. I am so inspired. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys on our next video. Bye.